Hey there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got mail. Hey, Santee. How about pocket holsters in the Old West? Small Caliber Arms Review. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Small Caliber Arms Review. I'm Richard, and today we're going to have a little black powder fun with this little fella. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We can do that. A few episodes ago, I interviewed author and historian David Grasse, who showed me something very interesting. Now, it should be known that David keeps the Old West alive daily by dressing in Victorian clothing. He fancies himself the gambler type, with silk vests and ties. As we know, many gamblers carried concealed weapons, sometimes due to the carry laws of the town, but also to have that advantage in case something goes down. Your opponent won't know you're armed until it's too late. Since Arizona offers concealed carry without a permit, it makes this a preferred method. And today, David was packing iron. Got a rocket in your pocket. Keep cool, cool boy. Mr. Grassy carries this antique revolver in a leather pocket holster he designed and made. Wow, that is a holster that goes into a pocket, like a breast pocket or a coat pocket, right? Yes. Um, and why were these popular? Um, basically, it's great for concealing a handgun, and it keeps it from it keeps the handgun from wiggling around in the pocket, <laughs> and so it's just not shifting back and forth. You can put it inside, and very easy draw. And, you know, and it's concealed, and you don't have to worry about yeah. you know checking your gun with the marshal, right? Yeah, and uh, so especially across poker table or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, is this like the pocket holsters our old Westians carried? Well, I wish that was easy to answer, but it isn't. I have found a couple of examples from the 1870s to 1900 that look similar to David's, so we know the style was around. Earlier in the period, a holster pouch sewn in the outside pocket of pommel bags was also done, and that inspires this design. In these examples, I noticed that the skirt of it is two pieces of thinner leather instead of one thick piece. I'm guessing that the sewn edges will be less likely to curl, which could impede the draw. David's holster also has bullet loops for a reload, should he need it. By the 1890s, there were spring retainer holsters where the trigger guard of the gun would snap into a metal clip. With a good tug, you would free the firearm. This method kept the gun more secure. The one pictured was designed by RMG Phillips and had a tubular magazine attachment for reloads. I've also read that some had leather or canvas liners sewn into their pockets, which seems another good idea. Lining the entire pocket would stiffen it up, making for an easier draw. One report says Wyatt Earp carried this way. John Wesley Harden, the famous Texas pistolier, was known to carry his guns in his pockets. John Selman, who killed Harden, stated that he saw the gunman going for his pistol in his pocket before he shot him. Harden's landlady noticed he carried his Colt Lightnings in his pants pockets barrel up. She witnessed him pull them out by the barrels and flip them into firing position with great agility. Yeah, that sounds odd, but John Wesley Harden was deadly fast and accurate. I wouldn't test him. During the California gold strike, many folks were armed. You had to protect your claim and the gold you were no doubt toting around on your person. Guns like this concealable pepper box revolver were pretty common and could easily be dropped into a coat pocket. You got that pepper box? Right here. Good, now don't use it unless you have to. The full-sized guns with barrels longer than a pocket would be better served in a hip holster or tucked into a waistband. Today, pocket carry is still very much practiced. Many companies make special holsters to accommodate those wanting to do it. So, if you're looking for another historically accurate way to carry a revolver, consider this. It may not be as showy at an event, but it would be a good surprise in a gunfight show. Just remember to practice drawing it. You don't want to have any wardrobe malfunctions. Get him! Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. 
and we'll see you on down the trail. Thank you.